Allied campaign to clear the Scheldt estuary in the Netherlands was a prelude to the mammoth coordinated drive now moving to the Rhine. British and Canadians embark equipment and men for the landings on the South Beveland and Valkyran Islands, spearheaded by fleets of Allied bombers. Valkyran and South Beveland control the sea approaches to Antwerp and the German garrisons on the islands had been ordered to hold their positions at all costs. These pictures show British amphibious landings, their immediate objective to capture the port of Flushing. After stiff resistance, the Germans finally surrendered, but Allied casualties were heavy. Cut off from their retreating companions on the mainland, the Germans fought back desperately. Whenever weather permitted, the Allied air umbrella saw to it that the German defenders on the islands were kept isolated, while the Luftwaffe was driven out of the rain-filled skies. Trapped villagers are rescued from a burning shelter. Many of these troops had fought their way up from the African deserts. Now their objective was to clear the way to Antwerp, great European port vital to the planned Allied drive on the Rhine. Marshal Rokossovsky, commander of the Soviet armies in Poland, watches his men advance to the crossing of the river Bug on the road to Lublin. Their allies on the Western Front, the flyers of the Red Air Force have proved more than a match for the Luftwaffe. Under cover of a heavy barrage, the Russians forced the crossing of the Bug River. of their advance lay the town of Hell. The German defenders were driven out, leaving the starved Polish civilians to welcome the victorious Russians. <laughs> Following the Russians came Polish contingents.
six Poles condemned to die by the Nazis watched with joy the rout of the Germans. For them, it meant life itself, though for many of their companions, the rescuers had arrived too late. Once again, Britain's Prime Minister poses for a photograph with Joseph Stalin in Moscow. With Winston Churchill on this occasion were Anthony Eden, Britain's Foreign Secretary, Molotov, the Soviet Foreign Minister, and Avril Harriman representing the United States. After the successful conclusion of a series of talks, Winston Churchill was off on the return trip to England to put the Allied discussions into effect. For the first time on record, Stalin came to the airport to wish his guests Godspeed. United States, Russia and Great Britain must become cornerstones for a world structure for peace. Yet to secure that peace, decisive victory must be achieved. At these conferences another vital step was taken, a step which has since resulted in the combined Allied offensive on the German fortress from both east and west. <laughs> 